Hi, I'm Zach Thurman, and today I'm going to tie some of the patterns I've designed for moving water. While designing these flies, I use many new materials and techniques that have not been used much before. These flies, like my still water patterns, not only have a suggestive buggy appearance to them, but have been very effective for me on the water. Let's get started tying some of these. The first fly I want to tie is Zach's interrogator. All right, we're going to tie Zach's interrogator. And this is a, a fly that I use uh, two hooks to tie this nymph. I'll tie it in a uh, green drake, isonychia, march brown, and uh, calabatus. And today we're going to do the green drake. The back hook, I like to use a uh, fly shop uh, 2312 or 2302. It doesn't make uh, that much difference. Um, I like to have a slight bend to it, but uh, at the end of this fly, we're actually going to cut that hook off. Um, the first step, once I get my thread started on this fly, is I'm going to take three ostrich plume fibers. And for the green drake, I'm going to use olive. This is going to be the tail. I'm going to take my thread, tie those guys in. You can see there, I got three of those guys. Go ahead and cut off the excess. The next step is I'm going to take some small olive ultra wire. I'm going to tie that in and just let it hang out the back. I'm going to do a uh, wing case. Essentially, it's a wing case for uh, the abdomen here. And uh, I just use brown, brown Antron. And I'll just tie that in, let it hang out the back. Now I'm going to form a dubbing loop, dubbing tool here. And I'm going to put, I'm going to use some UV light olive ice dubbing. And I'm going to throw this into the loop. And the reason why I do that is uh, I want these fibers, these dubbing fibers, to be nice and long. Um, I'm going to end up picking them out. And uh, on the green drake, I want this fly to be real, real buggy looking. Green drakes are um, nice and big. I'm not trying to imitate a little betis on this. And I'll take that and I'll dub that almost up to the eye of the hook. I'll tie it off. Go ahead and cut that out. Now what I'll do is I'm going to fold over the brown antron for the wing case. That nice and tight. And then I'm going to rib with the olive wire over the antron. And you can see here that I haven't cut the, the excess off yet. The reason why is when I come in and uh, pick this dubbing out, just in case if I accidentally uh, hit one of those, either the antron or the wire, I want to be able to come back and just uh, retie it again. I don't want to have to take everything off and start all over. And that's just a, a simple trick that I've kind of found out the hard way. And we'll just pick out 